question today is, what do real Christians believe? About a year ago, there was a family in my church that uh, had a daughter whose boyfriend was caught up in this organization, this group, this church that had some divergent views of what Christianity was. They're very exclusive. They made her get baptized in their church, uh, sign and agree to what they believed. And they, they wanted to meet with me and ask me, well, what do real Christians believe? And that's a great question. Whether we're talking about Africa or Asia or South America or North America or Europe, what do real Christians believe? What have real Christians believed from the very beginning of Christianity? Is there are a lot of truths, or what are the non-negotiable truths? What are the truths that are worth fighting over, arguing over, leaving a church over? What are the non-negotiables? These things, if you boil Christianity to down, down what are the, the, the essential beliefs of Christianity? And so we're going to be talking about that this week and next. But today I want to talk about the four essential non-negotiable beliefs of Christianity. These are the things you got to believe to be a Christian. These are the things you got to believe and teach to be a real church. So what are these four non-negotiable essential truths of Christianity? Number one, that there's only one God, and he exists in three persons. One God, three persons. There aren't many gods. There's not 33 gods like the Hindus believe. There is a a, a true separate God uh, beyond what the the Buddhists believe. One God, but he exists in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We'll talk more about that in in another day. And each of these persons is co-eternal. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have all existed eternally forever. Co-equal, the Father's not superior to the Son, The Son's not superior to the Spirit. They have different roles, but they're all equal, and they're all distinct. They're not exactly the same. One essence, three persons. The second non-negotiable belief is that the Bible is the Word of God. It's not just a word about God. It's not just a word from God. It's not not a book that that when it, if, if it speaks to you, then it is the Word of God, and if it doesn't speak to you, it's not the Word of God. It is the Word of God, objectively, non-negotiably, whether you believe it, whether it does anything in your life, it's the Word of God. And it's only the Word of God, though, understand this, as, as it was properly collected. It's the collection of a bunch of, of letters, of writings, of scriptures, 66 different books, and translated. The Bible was originally written in Hebrew in the Old Testament, Greek in the New Testament. As those languages are properly translated into your language, and we're talking in English today, then it is the Word of God. If they mistranslated it, that, that's on them. But the Bible is the Word of God as it was properly collected and properly translated. So I believe this book I'm holding in my hand, English translation of the Hebrew and the Greek, accurate translation, is the Word of God. Number three, Jesus is fully God. 100% God. Not a lesser God, not, not kind of a God. He is fully God. Not just a prophet of God, fully God. And he's fully human. 100% human. He's he's an amazing uh, individual. He was born of a virgin, human mother, Holy Spirit conceived him, born to bear our sin. He took all of our sin upon himself, died for us on the cross. As a human, he could die for us as our sacrifice, our substitute, and died for our sins and he rose again from the dead. And I want to remind you, he's coming again to rule and reign on this earth. So Jesus is fully God and fully human. And the last essential belief is that salvation is by grace. It's not something you earn. It's not something that you inherit. It is a gift, a non, 
a gift that is undeserved, unmerited, generous gift from God. It comes to us through our faith and our repentance. Our belief in Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection for our sins, our repentance, our desire to change, to turn from our sins, and turn to God. So, if you're a Christian, say you're a Christian, do you believe there's only one God existing in three persons? Well, if you do, you better worship Him, you better serve Him, you better follow Him. Do you believe the Bible is the Word of God? Well, then read it, study it, memorize it, obey it, do what it says, it's the Word of God. Jesus is fully God and fully human. Well, follow him, share him, talk about him, tell people about him. And salvation is by grace through faith and repentance. Check your life. Make sure you've trusted Jesus as your Savior. Make sure you have turned from your sins, and then make sure you're telling other people about God's great gift of salvation through Jesus Christ.